In this particular video we're going to be looking at straight line graphs and we've been given this information that the straight line on the graph has a gradient of 6 and it passes through the point 5, 10. Okay, that's really all the information we've been given so I'm just going to do a, a brief sketch of that and basically what we're saying is, is that it goes through this point Okay, let's call that 5, 10. And we don't know anything other, uh, anything about the line other than it's a straight line. Okay, um, we know it's positive because it's a positive value of the gradient. So it's actually going a bit like a tick. It's going in kind of that direction. I'm sorry my line is a bit wobbly, but you get the idea. It's a straight line. Okay, well, the general form of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. So let's fill in a bit of the detail. Let's see if we can come up with a solution to the question. Well, the first thing is, is that we know the value of 6. Well, that's this value here, which is the gradient. So I could write y equals 6x plus c. The other thing we know is that it goes through this point, 5 and 10. So in other words, when y equals 10, x equals 5. So again, we can plug that into the same equation. So when y equals 10, x equals 5. And then it's just a matter of using a little bit of algebra then to work out the value of c. And the value of c is actually this point here. It's where it crosses the y-axis. Uh, Some people call it the y-intercept. Okay, so a little bit of algebra. I've got 10 equals 30 plus c. If I take 30 away from both sides, I end up with c being equal to minus 20. So I'm now in a position where I can write the whole equation of this line as y equals uh, 6x minus 20. And that will answer this particular question. I hope that's been useful to you, uh, for you. Please do add a comment below in the comment section. Always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.